Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Umbrella OS on Cos OS using a Docker image. So, uh, a little bit about this series, I'm going over a home lab, so installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today. It's a Docker cont container that has Umbrella OS in it. Um, this will make it to where you can run it on your Casa OS. So um, yeah, it has everything and you don't need a dedicated hardware or a virtual machine. So at the end of this video, you should have a working install of Umbrella. You can see it here. Um, you can go in to explore the apps. Um, you can go to the home and you can go to the app store you can go to the settings and then you can see the live usage and then you can uh, see all the installed apps so that's what we'll be installing today so i'm gonna start on big bear casa os and there will be a link down in the youtube description to get to this and i'm going to go over the search and type umbrella and then you'll see apps umbrella os right here so click it then you can go in the Docker and pose. So the Costos app name is called Big Bear Umbrella. And then I'm gonna set some services. And then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear Umbrella. The container name is gonna be called Big Bear Umbrella. And this is so Docker doesn't have to generate a random name. And then the image is coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. This is the Docker, uh, this is the, uh, the, uh, the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And then restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it'll try to restart. And then ports right here. So 8080 on the host. And then on the container is 80. Um, it, if your port, uh, if 8080 does collide with another port on your host, you can change it to like 8081. Um, but do not change the containers port right here. And then I'm going to set some volumes, so data, app data, app ID, which has gotten from the name up here. And then data, so this is on the host side, and then on the container side is data. Do not change the container side. Um, so var run docker.sock, and this is so it, it has access to the Docker engine. And then we're going to set a stop grace period, and then the x OS information to explain the volumes and the ports. The X cost to us information to explain the app to the app store, the architectures, the, the, uh, the Docker image supports, which is up here. And that's AMD 64 and ARM 64. And then the main service is Big Bear Umbrella. And then description, the tagline, the developer of the Docker image, the author of the Docker Compose, and then the icon, the thumbnail right here, the title, uh, the category, so people can quickly go to the categories and pick between uh, Big Bear Cost OS, and you'll be able to see it when you click on it. You'll be able to see all the Big Bear Cost OS apps. Um, so the port map is 8080, and that rhymes with the host port up here. And then um, the tips down here. So this is going to come up in a model box before you uh, I, I actually install it. And then you can go here to have the Big Bear community. And don't forget to join the Big Bear community. Um, so that's a little bit about the Docker and Pose. So now I'm going to start on my Cos OS. And I'm going to go to App Store. And then I'm going to uh, go to Search. And I'm going to type Umbrella. So now you'll see right here. So you can go ahead and press Install. And then you'll see a model box that says Tips. And you can go to this tip. So I'm going to go ahead and next install. Um, so now what this is doing is downloading the Docker and the registry, getting extracted and getting it up with Docker Bose underneath because it's easy using the Docker engine. It's also going to set, set up the volumes and the network if there is any. So now we got it up and running. 
So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now you'll see legacy apps down here, and this is Auth and the Tor Proxy, and this goes with the Umbrel uh, cont container. So I'm going to go ahead and go into files, and then app data, and then Big Bear Umbrel, and then data. And now you see all the uh, the data uh, that's used for this volume uh, inside of the Umbrel container. So you can go ahead and go into it. Um, you can also go over here and check mark it and download, copy, cut, delete, and cancel. You can also go up here to the top right, download, copy path, rename, cut, copy, share, and then delete. So you can see CosOS makes it extremely easy to look at files. So you can X out of there. So that's how you get to your files uh, that's used by the Umbrella OS container right here. So now I'm going to go over the app settings. So on the Umbrella OS right here, you go up to the top right and go to these vertical dots. You can open into the web UI. You can set some tips. And you can go and edit it right here. And then you can scroll down. There we go. So now you can see that I typed something in there. So you can press the save button. And then it'll reload the container and say Umbrella OS is okay. And then you can go back into tips. And you can see it did save. Kind of like a notepad. And you can go into settings right here. And you can edit some of these settings. And you can press the save button. You can also go into the terminal. So now we're inside of the Docker container. You can also go into the logs right here. And this is great for debugging. You can X out of here. So now you can export the Docker and pose in a formatted file for Cos OS. So I'm going to X out of there. So you can check for updates from Big Bear Cos OS. And Big Bear Cos OS updates. Uh, after three days of the Docker image uh, release. So you can uninstall, restart, and fire off and on. So now I've got Umbrel installed. So you can go up here to the top uh, right and you can open into the web UI. And you can also click on the icon right here. So I'm going to click on it. So now it says welcome to Umbrel OS. So you can press start. And then you can put your name in and a password. And then once you do that, you can press create. And then it says you are all set, Big Bear. So you can say next. And now we're in here. So um, you can go ahead and you can go into the home, which we already are on. You can also go into the app store. So you can go to all apps and you can see all the apps that are available. Um, let's find an app to install. So if we go ahead and we do like AdGuard home and we say install and now it's installing. So you can go ahead and open it. And now we have AdGuard Home running on Umbrail. Um, you can also X out of there and now you see AdGuard Home on the home screen. You can also go into the settings and you can see your storage, memory, CPU, the temperature. You can open a lot of the live stats and you can see which Docker cont containers are running. Um, you can uh, See Wi-Fi, two-factor authentication, remote tour access. Um, do not uh, update with this because it's going through the Docker container. You can log out, restart, shut down. You can ch uh, change your name, ch uh, change your password. You can also change the wallpaper in the background. So uh, now we exit out of there. And you can also go to live usage with that as well down here. Um, you can also go and see the widgets so you can add a widget and exit and not a nice storage memory and the live usage. So you can see all the wi widgets. You can also go to AdGuard home, 
with this. So that's how you install Umbrella on Casa OS. So I just went over step-by-step step on getting Umbrella OS working on Casa OS. And you will notice that there's legacy apps down there on the Casa OS dashboard, and those are required uh, for the Umbrella OS. Um, so if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or need community support, you can go out in the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.